The families of two Palestinians who attacked a Jerusalem synagogue have received official notice from police that their homes will be destroyed. Israel had ended its demolition policy in 2005 after the Israeli army said it was not a deterrent and was likely to encourage violence. Let's go to Andrew Simmons now. He's live in West Jerusalem. And Andrea, this was expected, but now it's been confirmed. That's right. Uh, we've heard from a cousin of... Uh the two uh, men who uh, attacked uh, the synagogue on Tuesday, uh, who says that the uh, police actually served uh, these orders uh, to the family, uh, that within 48 hours uh, their homes will be demolished. And they now start to process uh, of structural engineers uh, looking at the building because it's not a standalone building and there's a large extended family of Abu Jamal's there. Uh, they will have to... Uh, smash up or explode or or destroy with with bulldozers uh two apartments uh it's likely that they'll be they'll be sort of gashed out and then sealed up uh and they'll be uh, the rest of the buildings will remain standing uh, but of course no repairs will be done and uh of course uh, gas and a new day uh, abu jamal's uh, relatives uh, will be without their homes um uh, uday's uh, uh, widow uh has two children um, and of course this policy is uh, controversial because it's uh, claimed by human rights groups that uh, this is in contravention of international law uh, in that it uh, uh, penalizes the families uh, of attackers. Uh, the security situation uh, in the capital is still uh, tense uh, although no major incidents. Uh, in occupied East Jerusalem there have been some confrontations. Uh, there was indeed one demonstration aimed at stopping uh, another eviction order not related to this one uh, being served. And what hasn't helped uh, also is the tension caused by uh, the uh, confirmation that uh, restrictions that used to be put in place on private security guards carrying uh, weapons back home with them uh, so that they had the weapons with them when they were off duty uh, have been lifted. Uh, this applies to all uh, private security guards uh, in Jerusalem and in East Jerusalem alone uh, up to 1,500 uh, private security guards uh, were armed uh, and that number has increased under the orders of uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu so it's not known uh, how many guns are going home. That's raised tensions uh, amongst Palestinians. Nick. Andrew, thanks very much indeed. Andrew Simmons reporting now.